And those that believe in work salvation give us what they, they accuse us of having a license to sin. In other words, because we're not saved by works, and you're not. If you think you're saved by works, you're going to split hell wide open, my friend. No, your works are not good enough to get you into heaven, and neither will be good enough. And so if you are trusting your works, you are not going to get to heaven. In fact, there's a judgment for those who do think their works are good enough. It's called the great white throne judgment. And the Bible says at that great white throne judgment, they will be judged by their works. There's only one problem. They're not going to heaven. Their works are going to condemn them, condemn them. And so we see here that we've laid that out. It's not by works. Chapter 4 really established that one, right? To him that worketh not, but believeth, his faith is counted for righteousness. So now we're addressing the other side, the side of, well, then what's the law for? Why do we have the Old Testament? Why do we have the laws? Uh, if we don't have to keep them for salvation, why are they there? Well, it has no part in salvation, but it does have a part in the Christian walk with God. And we're going to look at that old man and new man. When we get saved, we are a new creature. But don't think that the old one, that that flesh has gone away yet. That flesh is still hanging around. It's that death, that body that we're fighting with. And in Romans chapter 7, Romans chapter 8, he'll deal a little bit more with it. This struggle that Paul has with his own flesh. And he's taught, he talks about his, the things that he wants to do in his spirit, he doesn't do. But the things his flesh wants to do, he ends up doing. Anybody ever have those problems? Anybody ever lose to the struggle with the flesh and you try to fight that? You're not the only one. Now, those that believe in works for salvation will say that they don't have that struggle. They've actually never had temptation. They got saved and that, that, that flesh is all sanctified one and, and set apart and holy and they don't ever have a sin nature anymore. Oh, my friend, that's not, well, that's not how it works. And we're going to see that here. 